continuing with my digital scrapbook tutorial we'll use a, a difficult site this time I'll open up the web page it'll be displayed on the screen and it shows you all your templates that you can download only if you purchase the item now they allow you to, uh, with that we'll pick this one here, I'll click on it and, and bring it into a larger image. You can see that it's got multiple photographs in there and it makes it a little bit difficult. That's why I'm choosing this one because I can show you a few tricks on how to get around this. We go back to the page and it allows you to have a look at the, uh, of the templates as they're cut out. Now that's our difficult one on the top, we click on it and it opens it up in a, a larger viewing panel. I can right click on it and have a look at the properties and it tells me it's a JPEG but it's only very small 690 kilo, uh, 69 kilobytes so it's fairly small so I'll close it off right click the area again it won't allow me to download it but I can copy it to my clipboard I'll copy it to the clipboard now I don't require this one anymore we'll close it off now we're back in GIMP and I'll go to edit and I'll paste it in there. Now I've got it in GIMP so I right click the top layer and I need to add an alpha channel because we need to put take those cutouts out. But once again it's fairly small but you're going to work with a, uh, a scrapbook page. So we go to image and we scale our image. Now I'm from the old school so I need to go to inches and it's showing me there that it's a scale that's fairly small and it looks like it's going to be on an A4 sheet so I just type in 12 and click in the top layer top little box and it calculates it for me now 12 is far too big so I'll go to 11 and click in the top box and round about the same there so ok that links links so it's good so I click on scale and GIMP scales it for me. Now it's far too big to work with so I hit the minus key on my keyboard while this blue is selected at the top and it brings it down to a workable size. Now we right click on the top layer and we've got our alpha channel. Now if I choose I'm going to need to cut all those out now so it's pretty difficult. We've got little bits of cutouts in there and in around this moon shape icon there. So if I go to my foreground selection tool and click in the white it selects all the other colors so we don't really need that so I'll go back and select none. Now we go to our color palette and we pick a color, color that I know that's not in, in that uh, template so I click OK go to bucket fill tool and fill those with the color. Now I go to my foreground selection tool click on the purple and it selected all the purple for me so I hit, hit the delete key and it removes them all. Now I go to select and select none that turns that selection off. Now I need to put some images in so we've got an idea of the size it's an A4 sheet so uh, we need to know the size of these cutouts. So GIMP gives us a little tool here and it's called the measuring tool. It's not very well much shown in a lot of tutorials. All you need to do outside on the image, don't go inside the cutout because you won't see it because of the transparency. Click on there and drag your mouse, click on it and drag your mouse across and then let go once you've got the size there. Now down at the bottom we need to move the toolbox up. It gives me the dimensions there in pixels so it's 394.9 we won't worry about the 0.9 it's 394 it also gives me the angle that, that the, the drop down is but we won't need to know that that's 6.998 6 degrees angle so we don't need to know that we need to know the size of the pixels so now we need to go and load our images so we go to file and we open as layer that's the top one there. That's, I've got them numbered so I know which order to put them in. We've got open that one. I've opened it as a layer. Now it's quite a large layer. It's laying on top of the other layer so it's quite large. So if you go to the resize tool 
it's too hard to find. You need to find the, the corners of the image, so it's a little bit difficult. But if you go to image and scale, that one becomes a bit difficult as well because um, when you put in the dimensions that we had down the bottom, you won't see it. It puts it in such a small pixel. But there's another way around it. We load it as a layer, so you go to the layers channel, the layers menu, and you resize the scale, of, you rescale the layer. You click on there. Now we know it was um, had a width of 394 pixels, so we'll stay with pixels 394. Click the bottom one because the change linked, and it does the calculations for us. We hit scale, and Gimpy does the job. Very well done, Gimpy. Now we need to put our uh, pasted layer on top, so we pull that b bottom one down. Now we go to our move tool and move that into that position. Now you can leave it as it is if you want, or you can tilt it, but it uh, it fits in reasonably easy in there. But I need to scale it because you can see on the edge there it's still a little. So we tweak it up with the uh, the scaling tool. We just click on it, and we've got the aspect ratio checked. So we just scale it a little bit bigger so it fills in there and hit scale. Let's put it in our frame. Well done. We go to the top and we merge down. We need to do that each time because if the next image you put in there it'll probably overlay that one and you would see it in there. So we go to our next image, open as a layer, and this time I put in number four because I, I picked these in order for, for another cutout but that'll do me so we open that one. Now we go to layer, and menu again, and scale the layer. We've got an idea of what uh, the frames were. We, we type in the uh, the width again, which is 394, and then click in the bottom uh, box, and it gives me the calculations, and then you click OK. Now it's a little bit too big for that frame there, and it's laying on its side. So we need to rotate that image, and we rotate it, about the frame angle, hit rotate. I need to put it below my frame so I can see where I'm placing it in there. So I click on the bottom one and move it up. That moves the, uh, the background layer that we're working with the template. We can see exactly what's happening. I go to the move tool and just move that. Uh -uh. We move the active layer, so I need to go to the active layer and we move it into that area. Now because it's, you can see the layer size is far too big, we need to scale it down with the, the scale tool. We just tweak it up a little bit, because we knew some idea of the size. Scale it, go to the move tool and move it into position. I'll leave it at that, we can scale it a lot more to make them fit. Go to the top layer on the layers channel and right click on it and merge down. Now we have the image into there. Now here's the trickier one, this one here. We need to put another image in, into there. Now it's a vertical image so I'll put in, um, I'll go to file, open as a layer and I'll put that waterfall in again because it'll be in the background of the other layer, of the other image it'll go on the top. Once again, we go to layers and resize our, rescale our layer. We know it's 394 or close to it. And then click in the bottom box and scale. Now I need to rotate it because it is in a funny position. Place it in the, uh, move that down below. So we've still got it selected and it's a fairly small one, so I need to move it down so I can see where I'm working. That's it there. Very tricky one, that one. Uh, we're going to rotate and put it in that rotation. Move it over a bit. Rotate. Go to the Move tool, move it into position there. We've got the angle we want. Now we need to tweak it up with the size. We've got our aspect ratio chosen, so we just 
tweak it up to about the size we feel we should fit that. I'm grabbing the centre, that's about right, and we'll scale it. Okay, so let's put it into that position. Now I need to click on the top one and merge down again. Now I'm going to get my other image and place it behind that one. So I go to layer and open as a layer. So I'll choose uh, that one there will do. Once again it will be far too big because you can notice the size there. It's 1.4 megabytes and the number of pixels are also shown. Go to layers and scale the layer. 394 again. We're working within those dimensions. Click the bottom one and scale. Remove our image below the uh, background layer and then go to the move tool and move it into place down here and now we can tweak it to the size we want because we're still working within that top layer size and we tweak it down to there, scale it go to the move tool and move it into position oh, we we'll move it into this one here now go to my rotation tool and just rotate it a bit like so and rotate that's not too bad that'll do that one so we top click the top layer and merge down once again now we've got to have a last image to go in now you notice I didn't I didn't uh, click in there with a the purple so I need to go back and fill those little bits with purple that one there now we go to my foreground selection tool click in there and delete that and go select none go back to file and load as a layer now I'm going to load the uh, the water scene that one there once again it's far too big we go to the layer on the layers menu scale the layer and once again we type in 394 click the bottom box and scale brings it down to a reasonable working size remove the, uh, the that pasted layer down below and then we go to our move tool and move it into position so we can see it much better and of course we need now to tweak it up to the size we can see the we scale it and we move it into position and you can rotate it if you wish to fit that part of the image and then of course you click the top layer and merge down there we have it piece of cake with Gimpy so thank you for watching and rate the video and visit my channel where you'll find many more on uh, using scrapbooks